Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Hornby Hobby and New Locomotive Time. Uh, so, just got back from Pedro Antiques, 65 quid. Early BR 060 Drummond 700 class, number 30698. Uh, the box is quite weathered, you'll notice. It's very, very pale. And then on the back, it features uh, the history of the locomotive. Just There we go. That's what sleepers are for. They're for uh, wedging your boxes in. Uh, I've not had a real good look at this. Um, but I'm sure that Kelly will provide with a, a, a detailed history in the comments. There's the sketch in. Uh, drawn 2014. Uh, so I'm guessing that's when those were drawn. Then a couple of years later, the model was created. Let me know if I'm right. So away we go. Now, while we're getting into this, I would like to say, lads, that um, I don't care for... Um, you know, things to be accurate. I am not a rivet counter. You know, I know there's people out there that want it to have the right amount of rivets and the right amount of this, that and the other. They want it to look as it would have done back in the day to the last rivet. I'm not one of them. You know, I drum what I like. I buy what I like. There's the uh, detail bag. And I've just noticed a detailed cab interior. So let's get this thing out. So it's it's loco heavy, which is good. That's a that's a good pop. Uh, so let's get her in the. Uh, hang on. Let's get her nice and close to the camera. Hold on. There we go. This is how we're doing this. <laughs> So looking at it, it looks glorious. I mean, for me, it looks complete. Uh, the front coupling is in the detail bag. Um, so it mentions that this is a 4F, meaning freight. So if we get in nice and close, I wish I had a more high-powered camera like Sam's. So you can see the reverse rod there. Um, I'm guessing that's a clack valve. Uh, or the clack valve. Yeah, is that a clack valve? Um, that gold thing? And then, if I just angle you... Those, those red bits, look like eccentrics to me. So this is looking proper good. So there's the uh, the dome. Uh, try and get this right. So that'll obviously be the whistle. Uh, I'm guessing the safety valves are on top of the dome. Someone get me a book or something. Anatomy of a steam engine for Christmas, please. Um, but the, the pipe work looks amazing. And so does the uh, the finish on it. I like it. Quite a short, stumpy funnel. Here's the tender. That's very different to what we're, what we're used to here. And does it. Um, I will do the test, of course. It has sprungy buffers. Spruggy buffers. Right, Sam, um, do a sprung buffers t-shirt or something. That's what you need. So, of course, it being a um, around 2014 uh, locomotive that has the old style Hornby to tender drawbar coupling, uh, which Sam absolutely hates because it looks ungainly. And, of course, on the wire. Uh, but for me, that actually looks more subtle than some of the ones that I've seen in his reviews. Coming round to the front of the beast. It looks similar to a J36. And yes, I know what a J36 looks like. Um, I really like the look of this loco. I really do. That's why I bought it. I just look at what I look at what's available and I think, will that look good on a preserved railway? And the answer is always yes. So, enough talk. Let's get her on the track. So there is the Drummond class uh, down onto the track. I'm, I'm copying Sam, literally. So um, I don't know if this has been out of the box, as in before I bought it. Um, so I don't know what the crawl's going to be like, but you be the judge. Let's 
powering up. Oh, wow. Once that's run in, I reckon that'd be beautiful. Let's just cut out. Hmm. Let me run it past you at 50% speed. There's 50. Here's full. Yep, I feel that's perfectly geared for a freight loco. And it's so nice as well. She looks good. Don't you all agree? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hook it up to some rolling stock. I don't know exactly what, but uh, I'll figure something out. All right, lads and ladies and fellow subscribers. Um, so I thought let's just put the uh, the uh, blood and custard coaches onto it, make it look like it does in my mind, you know, this, the, the layout that we're modeling is a preserve railway, you know, it's where all the locomotives that have been saved from scrap or they've just been preserved, this is where they work. Uh, so this is what this would look like if my layout was real, <laughs> if that made any sense. So uh, tradition is tradition. That was good. I don't know what the rest of you thought, but for me, that looked gorgeous. I'm loving this. <laughs> this is why I'm part of this hobby, just so I can buy locomotives to gawk at them. So now it falls to you lot because this locomotive needs a name and a personality. So is this locomotive confident, shy, Hard-working, lazy, bossy, um, loud, quiet. Come up with a personality. And we'll see. Um, just before we go, I actually want to do a uh, Sam's Trains test. So, talk. Try turning it on, you bastard. Yeah, that's at full power and it's definitely pushing against my finger. So there's, there is torque there. Um, Newtons don't bother asking me about that because I don't have a Newton meter and even if I did, uh, I wouldn't um, understand. Uh, but that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. Always much appreciated. And don't forget to get in your requests in time for Christmas. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.